Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's um, uh, oh, it's Wednesday afternoon, April the twenty second, and um, I had to go back to my babysitting duties today, and I am pooped. Uh, even though these are good children, I can't complain. They are both well-behaved children, but you know I have lost what little bit of strength and energy that I did have before I had the COVID nineteen virus. So um, it is going to take me a few days to readjust and and get my strength and energy and health back. So um, I did, you know, the children were watching their TV shows and playing with their toys and everything. So I was able to relax a good bit uh, during the day on the on the sofa downstairs. So I'm grateful for that. And Jill is off on Thursday, and then I'll be back to babysitting on Friday. So I just realized that I had not shown y'all where I have been living for the past two weeks that I've been isolated. Um, I have moved into Jill's house temporarily. I am waiting for a senior housing apartment, which I hope will come up sometime this year. Um, if not, I may just have to move into whatever I can find that I can afford. So I'm going to have to turn. <clears throat> I don't think I can reverse the camera on my laptop. Uh, I think I'm going to have to turn it around, and uh, excuse me, my nose is itching, I don't know why. I'm going to turn it around, but I'll just show y'all where I have been living for the last two weeks. And then, um, you can see my phone is still messed up. See all of these triangles up there? That's telling me to to sign in all my Google accounts, but then when I go to sign in, it won't accept. It's just all messed up. I have nothing... Um, now, I can search on Google using that, but um, I can't do anything else on Google. I can't um, record on it, or I can take a picture, but I can't record, or I definitely can't upload a, a video onto YouTube. So let me go ahead and show you all this, what a mess it is, because I never got around to cleaning it yet, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to clean it tomorrow. I promise you I am. <laughs> but... Anyway, let me show you where I sit to record. Um, like I said, this is my mattress. My mattress is leaning up against the wall there. That's my mattress and my box spring. And I have my gray uh, bed spread thrown over it. And this is the one that I bought at Burlington that has the medallions on it. And then I just sit on that little stool down there. And that's one of the satin pillows that Irene made for me. So I sit on that, and this is my tub that I have here. Uh, this one has all of my kitchen stuff in it, my storage containers, my toaster, my Instapot, all of my kitchen items are in, not all of them. I have two tubs like that with my kitchen items, and then I have two tubs with my clothing and, and other items, my bathroom things. And I have a dollhouse, look, that I can play with. <laughs> Y'all, this is a Cadillac of a dollhouse, ain't it? It even has Bluetooth on it, but I don't think Jill has um set the Bluetooth up yet. It has a toilet in it and a shower and everything. Isn't that adorable? There's my old filing cabinet, my old metal filing cabinet, and Jill gave me her one of her little, I guess that's cardboard that she doesn't use anymore, but I love my old metal cabinet. That's just some clothes there that one of Jill's friends gave her for baby Eve and some linens that I still have to put away, and that's my nightstand, y'all. <laughs> it's a mess, ain't it? I got to go through there and clean it and dust it, and my bed. I don't really make my bed much that much anymore. There's my nebulizer down there. I still use it three times a day. And my prayer book, I sit there and, and read my prayers. And these are my pillows. And that's my my mess, my big mess back here. That uh, red bag, um, it has my crocheting, my baby Efe's blanket in it. I think Jill got that one time she went to a a dinner or something at the Resorts World. And then I have my toilet paper that I got lucky and found about a month ago. 
and uh, Jill is sorting the kids' Easter baskets. That's my other tub there with my kitchen items in it. So I gotta get back there and clean that up. That garbage bag has my clothes in it. That's my Dirt Devil vacuum cleaner from my friend Alana. And then this is a lamp that Jill has had in here for a long time. There's the, jewel, the magnets there. And some of the jewelry, which I haven't mailed out yet. Because now, you know, after it having been exposed to the virus, I don't really know what to do with it. Maybe I can sterilize it and clean it and still mail it. It will be up to whoever wanted to make that decision. Here's some beads that Jill got from the last time she went to Mardi Gras down in New Orleans. And that was before she ever had children. So I guess it's been at least six or seven years. But I mean, these are some beautiful fancy beads, aren't they? And then this is all my junk here on um, this shelving unit. I got that tub there has all my vitamins in it. And then I just have some extra, my medicine. And I got my nails and my nails and thumbtacks and rubber bands in here. And that's my postal supplies there. And then just some more powder and cream. And that was my little office area. You can see my scissors and stapler, and that's all my extra notebooks and things. And there's my pajamas and gowns and my bum around clothes there. And then this is junk. This is all my paperwork. I've got still got to do my income taxes. I got to get in there and clean that up. And then this is um my mess here with all my makeup. It's just kind of not all nice and neat and organized like it was in my beautiful bathroom in my basement apartment. So this is, um, and then this is the, y'all remember this? I had this hanging um, behind the door there in my basement apartment with my medicines in it. And this still has a lot of medicine in it that Marcia sent me. Y'all please remember her in prayer also. Um, Marsha is uh, undergoing chemotherapy and uh, we want to remember Marsha in prayer and just let you know that I've been praying for you every day sweetheart and I just love you and I just hope that this chemo goes well for you and I hope that it heals you um, so and then this is it's, this is actually baby Ife's closet here but um, I do have my stuff in it have my clothes in here. Uh, Jill bought baby Efe some little pajamas and look at this cute little gown. Who is that? Elsa from Frozen. So I told Jill, I said, let me just rinse them out gently by hand. They, her little, her new little pajamas and gowns don't, don't need to go in that old the dryer and be washed and tossed around so roughly so I rinsed her things out by hand and then I have my Chinese slippers in here and then all my scarves in here my scarfies and my other scarves from Chad y'all remember my beautiful scarves from from Chad there they are my blouse from Jed and Peggy. I also washed it, washed it out by hand. I've got to iron it so I can wear it. I remember it. It's so beautiful. And then I have some more junk here. Some more. That's all my vitamins there on that little table. I've got to organize it and straighten it up today too. My airborne and all my vitamins. So let's go back over here and sit down because I want to talk to y'all. <sighs> about my vitamins. Um, several of y'all have asked me, where did I get this um, hoodie? My tie-dyed hoodie. <laughs> um, what is this? Something popped up over here. I don't know what that is. I'm still learning, still learning this laptop. Oops. 
Let me see. It's messed up. Every time I touch it, something happens. Now I can't I can't see myself. Go away, go away. <laughs> Afraid if I hit too many arrows, the camera will go off. So anyway, I wanted to show y'all this um the zinc that I ordered from Amazon. I can't read the directions on it. So what I do, I take a picture of it. <laughs> And then I enlarge the picture so I can read the the directions on it. Let's see. Anyway, this is in my Amazon store. So um, if any of y'all need zinc, which you know it's supposed to be a good antioxidant, I do recommend this. It's called zinc picolinate. It's 30 milligrams. Serving size one capsule. So I guess you only have to take one capsule a day. I know some of my other vitamins do contain zinc, but not 30 milligrams. And then this is the slow mag that I have been uh, bragging to y'all about. And it is also in my, my Amazon store. And I really do recommend this for weak muscles or muscle pain or aches. And with it being slow magnesium, it's not going to dissolve rapidly and, and then give you stomach upset. So uh, I believe it's made by Bayer. No, it's not made by Bayer. I don't know. Anyway, it's a good product. Now, it is, it's about $12.99, I think, on Amazon. But if you can find it at Walmart, it's usually around $9.99 at Walmart. And it's usually with wherever the M's are, I think, like, you know, they'll have them in alphabetical order, the vitamins. And it comes in a box, but the box is also white with the, this blue writing on it. So it's pretty easy to find. So I think that's all that I wanted to cover with y'all today. Um, I just want to ask you to please continue to, to pray for Rachel Ball because she is suffering with the coronavirus. And please continue to pray for me and my family. And uh, I just wish for all of y'all to stay well and healthy. Stay inside if you possibly can because this virus is bad and it's very easy to catch. So y'all please give me a thumbs up and share my videos and y'all just keep on coming back. Bye guys.